Hello, what is up guys? Jack here to give you episode 17 of our squad building series. And today we have a Mexican team here. So we're going to start off in goal. Um, this guy is like pretty standard. I don't think there's really much choice. Um, there might be, I think there's two 76s or, you know, there's not really many options for it. So I just went with this guy here called Sanchez. Um, there's quite a lot of Mexican players called Sanchez actually. So make sure you get that one. <clears throat> and then 75 pace centre back here, uh, Arujo. Um, yeah, just 75 for uh, a centre back is very good anyway, and he's that typical that that number that always seems to do uh, well. 69. Um, his defending is not bad either. He's uh, six foot two as well, so he's he's quite tall. He's going to have better heading than 67 for sure. And if we go on to the next centre back, we have Moreno. I know there's quite a lot of different options. If there are um, some options you think um, you would rather choose, then let me know, um, and I'll have I'll have a look at it and check it out. I mean, this guy's got 68 pace, uh, 75 defense, 78 heading. So I thought I'd go for a slightly higher rated player with maybe a little bit less pace. And because uh, I know there is a 74 pace centre back, um, but then I'd have really inexperienced um, defenders, and that's all right sometimes. But sometimes they just completely muck up in defence. Um, but then if we move on to the right back, we have Perez. Um, he's 89 pace, which is beast. Uh, I think he's quite a small guy as well. He's five foot nine. I mean, he just does the job well, he's just got the pace, as you'd expect a left or right back to have. Next player is here, this guy here, Alderete, 83 pace. Uh, he's got quite good passing and dribbling, which is a plus. Um, he's, again, he's not tall. I don't think most of the uh, Mexican players, like, as soon as it gets out of the defence, they are, all are pretty small. Um, don't know why, but they just are. Um, but he does the job well as well. Now, if we move up to the centre mid here, Valdez. With a 82 pace, 71 passing, he's pretty decent. Um, yeah, he's just a good centre mid. I mean, there's most of the um, players that are Mexican um, seem to be more cams, so it's quite difficult trying to choose a centre mid. Um, but he does a job well too. And if we move on to the left uh, mid, we've got Val Valade. Um, it's 86 pace. I think he has four star skill. I've been told when I made this in the live stream, I was told he has four. If not, then let me know. Um, he has 71 dribbling as well, and he is left footed. Uh, See so what I mean? Five foot seven, so he's not very tall, uh, which means it's kind of a good and a bad thing. He means he's going to change direction very quickly, so it's not too bad. And if we move up to this guy here, I am pretty sure this guy has four star skill. Um, if this guy isn't, he might be free actually thinking about it now. Um, but this guy is it. He is sick. Um, 88 pace, uh, 4 star skill, 78 dribbling, um, defending 38, so you can, you can see why I didn't choose him for a centre mid. Um, and yeah, let's see how tall he is, 5 foot 3. <laughs> so that is why he's so uh, agile and good at dribbling, that kind of thing. But he's also very quick because of that, he's right footed as well. If we move up to the next cam, we have Vela, and I thought, you know, there's a silver version of him, and there is a price difference between the inform and the silver. But I'd still, I'd rather have an inform because he's never going to drop down in price, and you might as well. Uh, it always looks nice when you have an inform on your team. This guy's just good anyway without being informed. But he's got 88 pace, 82 shooting, uh, 76 dribbling, 70 passing, and 70 heading. So it's pretty decent. Um, as an, as I'm an Arsenal support, supporter, I always I wanted to have him in the team as well because you know he moved from Arsenal, uh, whatever. So. Yeah, pretty decent. And if we go on to the right mid, we've got 88 pace again, so a very quick team uh, up the top. Uh, 73 shooting, not bad. And he's right footed, so unfortunately he's right footed on the right side. Uh, it's, yeah, 79 dribbling as well, uh, so he's, pr he's pretty decent. And if we move up to the striker, uh, we have 93 pace, Hernandez. Um, he's, he's just amazing. Um, 5 foot 9, and yeah, he just always seems to make that space like he does in like real life he just always gets into opportunity to score a goal somehow uh, he's got, probably because of that pace but his positioning must be pretty good as well the shooting's pretty insane um, dribbling wise he's good and uh, heading as well considering he's you know he's not tall five foot nine um, and yeah that's that's the squad overall um, I'd say probably it costs you between 20 and 30k um, even with Vela in there uh, unless you can get them cheap, it depends how quickly you want to make this team. But um, I know it's been quite a quick squad builder, but this has been on my hard drive for ages. Well, not on my hard drive, but actually, you know, in my teams, and I haven't actually done the video on it. So I thought I'd just make a quick video on it. And uh, yeah, it's been a little bit too quick, but oh well. 
Uh, I'll be re recording other videos today to be uploaded in the, in the next three few days. So uh, I'll catch you later. Please remember to subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye.